we heard the dog growl. Before you could say, get the baby away from the dog or move to get down there, it had happened. A sudden attack left this Batavia toddler with a nasty scar and a long road to recovery. This nine month old baby boy was bitten by a family member's dog on Easter Sunday. He lost part of his cheek, but doctors were able to repair a lot of the damage. News 4's Jen Shunt spoke with the boy's family. Jen? It was Easter dinner at Grandma's house, the safest place Maverick Brumstead Shaw's parents could think of. But in an instant, a dog who never before showed any aggression snapped. After two surgeries, the toddler is finally starting to look like himself again, but his parents tell me it's been a long and hard road. You wouldn't know by the sound of that laugh that Maverick Brumstead Shaw was mauled by his grandma's dog less than a month ago. I was in shock immediately after it happened. Mercy Flight flew Maverick to Shriners Hospital in Cincinnati for treatment of a deep gash on his face. Basically, about right here, most of his cheek was gone. His baby fat came in handy for doctors who used the skin from Maverick's neck to graft over his cheek. Under those bright blue eyes, evidence of the attack. It was one of the worst things that I've had to actually cope with. You don't want to see something you love that much in pain. The toddler's already had two surgeries and will need at least one more. But you'll rarely find him crying. These days, he's more of a listener. Maverick discovered the Game of Thrones soundtrack in the hospital. His mom Erica says now he just can't get enough. Days before he was attacked, Maverick posed for some Disney-themed photos. We didn't get those back until like a week and a half ago, so it was pretty hard to see those for the first time. For Erica, they're a reminder of a sudden and unprovoked assault. I'm traumatized. I will never be the same. We have two dogs, and I'm not the same towards them, and I've had them for 11 years. She says the black lab that attacked Maverick never showed aggression before. She doesn't want to see it put down, but she says she'll never allow her son near the dog again. Now that flight to Shriners cost several thousand dollars to help pay for that and ongoing medical costs. The family's hosting a benefit called Strong Like Mav next month. All the details are on our website, WIVB.com. Jen Schantz, News 4 at 6.